and we are just gonna go and have uh some some fun or have some fun with the game like i said i'm gonna try to i'm gonna see how far you can get into the game without repairing the uh, life pods so that way you never have a radio so that way you never signal the sunbeam now there's no i i cannot find any logical reason why you would have to do that in the game because all the radio does is end up being kind of like a waypoint system and these things are already there so you can find them on your own so that's what i'm going to uh try to do with with that is just kind of find things on my own uh, push through. I know where most of the entrances are. The, the map is actually very small. Like when you uh, when you get into the game. All right, so let's sit and watch the the amazing intro that is Subnautica. Games can't. Oh, we're doing so good today. We're doing we're doing a hundred percent better than I could have ever imagine. Hmm. This will end badly, I'm sure game about surviving in the ocean with the uh, water oh that's an explosion I, the, the dust is weird i find the dust effect in here a little weird like is that like is there dust in here where's that dust coming from that seems odd to me uh anyway weird uh continuity errors oh aside another issues aside good game i will be pointing out a lot of weird like issues that i have kind of with the game just little weird story loopholes and whatnot that I just find <laughs> a little weird and odd. Because I will be also focusing more on the story as well, because I, in my, ouch, fire is indeed hot, in my private playthroughs and my personal playthroughs, the ones I do with my privates, I have, oh, here we go, gotta tap on that bad boy. I have kind of ignored a lot of the storyline stuff, so I want to listen to the logs more, make more sense of them, and understand this world that has been made by the Subnautica devs, because I think it's really cool. You have this, you know, human spacefaring civilization uh, comprised of what I can only... Uh, I'm just let her... I'll let her do her thing. Uh, where you have like this clearly like this highly corporate all oh, the little birdies birdies my bird like this highly corporate kind of uh government and you have other governments that are out like it, clearly a galactic civilization a galactic spanning civilization exists here in the good old so also i'm going to start a uh, note pad so let me go ahead and get back up get some air here and a notepad, I mean the thing that you write on, not the thing on the computer. So, Expedition 1, I'm going to call that EX1. Uh, we need to get, oops, get back up to the air there. We need to get the repair tool and see what we can find. So, I need repair tool, repair tool, and so this is going to kind of stop me from going everywhere uh well actually you don't need the repair tool right away the repair tool is very important to be sure but let's let's just start with that down uh batteries batteries and i guess we'll try to find we'll do a lot more exploring here just we're looking for Scannable. So we need the scanner. So we need the scanner actually. So scratch all that out and just put scanner. So I'm going to write down a lot more with this game just so I can kind because of, I know what I need to do and I just want to keep myself focused because it's very easy to just kind of get let off into doing other things within the, uh, the game. Let's check our blueprints here. So the first thing I need to get so for the scanner i need titanium and a battery so let's go ahead and we'll get us so for batteries we need acid mush acid we need acid mushrooms where are okay we got those i don't know why i'm reacting like that minutes after it happened so we're gonna get the acid mushrooms we're not too worried about food or water right now because we've got the starting supplies okay cool so titanium cool so there's our titanium and we need uh Need another limestone chunk here. Actually, I should probably yeah. There we go. Let's let's get some scrap metal early on. We'll get some scrap metal early on, and then 
Because I also should get the supplies for, like, the knife as well. So that means I should get a creep box. Like, this is what I meant. That's so very easy to get kind of off into a lot of other things that you have to do while you're out and about in the game. For, I cannot, like, say enough, like, how gorgeous this game is. It is extremely, extremely nice. There we go. We got copper. And then we need to kind of... What is he doing here? He shouldn't be here. Seems... Oh, cool. Thanks. Uh, thank you. To plausible survivability. So there's a lot of issues that I have with, like, the timeline of the Aurora explosion and the timeline a lot of the PDA data is because there's no, like, dates or information given as far as, like, when it all happened. So I guess it's, like, we're all supposed to assume that a lot of the, uh, the escape pod stuff is going on right now while I'm doing my initial exploration. So people are currently dying, which is... Or they died while I was knocked out. Like, it's a very weird timeline. Why is there no seed clusters? Oh, Jesus, there they are. All right, we're good. We'll get this. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, I guess a lot of what happens could have easily occurred. So I want to get... So this will get me two silicon, four silicon, and a lubricant. There we go. All right, so now's a good time to head back. I've got my copper. I've got my titanium. I've got some silicon. So that's good. Get back here. See what we can do. Ooh. Also, my scroll wheel. My scroll wheel. My scroll wheel is busted on my mouse. Which marks the second razor mouse that I've gone through in uh, about as many months. So, not the happiest with my razor products. Not that I'm saying don't buy a razor because, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bad talk a company. Don't look at me as somebody who would bad talk a company. But, definitely, definitely get the warranty. <laughs> get, get the warranty for that shit. It'll keep, it'll make you happy. So, getting four of these, getting one lubricant, because I love to get my lube on, and breaking down some titanium. Alright, cool beans. And then I need a battery. And I need a scanner. And I need a knife. Get us a knife. I don't, you know, the knife really doesn't, the knife has very limited usability, but I always get one kind of like right off the bat. So we get a standard O2 tank as well. This, I like this. So, like, once again, there we go. I think a lot of, uh, well, this is very interesting, because it, it's clear that this is not a standardized kind of thing. There we go, come on, come on, we're good, 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 good. Where there are, okay, so eventually we'll probably need a box, but there's clearly, like, no, like, necessarily unified government putting around here, and that Altera has its own own methods and means and whatever it does is not necessarily 100% what the rest of the human I don't know whatever they are does okay go so food not a big worry oh I jumped I jumped in here not even thinking all right so I need to okay I got actually I need to explore so let's start we'll go towards the Aurora first and we'll start kind of exploring that way, because that'll get us triggering the explosion, and we can get the lead suit, uh, lead line suit, just like, uh, we need, just, just exactly like what we need to survive. What, what am I saying? What is going on with my brain? We'll get the lead line suit, that'll be delicious, we can have that, and then we will get, uh, hopefully in this direction we'll find sea glide fragments. Though I think the most of the sea glide fragments are actually over in like the red kelp zone or whatever it is. Wherever that shit is. Oh, definitely keep our eye out for. Yeah, we're definitely getting deeper here too. Which is good because we, we need the sea glide. I mean, the sea glide is so core. Oh, I should like scan. Please scan some things. Alright, so let's read about the acid mushrooms. Because I don't know much about them. Except they get you wicked high, yo! Come on. Here we go. Alright, so acid mushrooms. Data banks. Digital life forms. Flora. Exploitable. Exploitable? Yeah, that's how you say that word. 
Acid mushrooms, a common spore fungi species. The flesh contains a highly acidic compound, which leaches into the water if the outer skin is penetrated. I remember you could eat these, and they would give you health and water. Or they give you food and water, but they would, like, take health. I don't know, there's a lot to them. They've changed a lot over time. It's not clear which predator species necessitated such extreme countermeasures, but the acid mushroom's numbers suggest it has successfully deterred most of them. Assessment inedible. Acid has applications in battery fabrication. Yes, indeed you do. Got a gasopod floating around here. Look at this happy guy. He's going to shoot his gasopods. Gasopods. He's angry. He's not happy about this. And boom. Gasopod. And he's not infected, is he? No. Oh, he, he, he squirted again. All right, let's get away from that. Gasopod. Very large. Large. Mm. Fauna. Large, large. Gotcha. Right, oh, there's a uh, reef backward here. Gasopod, a slow-moving life form and one of the larger herbivores on the planet, providing a substantial meal to would-be predators. The gasopod protects its domain by filling the surrounding water with poisonous and corrosive pods whose contents dissolve even synthetic fibers. How do they know that? How do they know that? I haven't even been hit by that yet. Hmm? Oh, God. Right, we gotta worry about that. Okay, filtration systems, thick non-reactive skin, and multiple gill layers, rendering this creature impervious to the noxious, noxious acid clouds produces. Allergy gland, a bulbous sac-like appendage on the rear end. Okay, so first off, I don't think a scientist would call it the rear end. They might call it, like, the, 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 the thorax or the abdomen. I don't know. Uh, I don't think that's not, not exactly your most scientific language there. A luminescent and yellow algae grows inside the sac and produces the poisonous compound. Abdominal muscles can contract, causing the algae gland to admit the noxious compound into the surrounding water. So yeah, it wouldn't be on the rear end, it'd be on the abdomen. Because they wouldn't be abdominal muscles if they were in the rear end. They'd be like the glutes. Ha! I have you now, Subnautica. Capable of powerful movement through the water when moving in small herds. Hmm right sure uh, behavior gasopods appear to be social in nature and may even use their missions in their relationship rituals so okay their audible calls are likely signifiers nearby threats or food sources uh, assessment approach with caution acidic pods may be retrieved or repurposed because those can be turned into torpedo ammo and animal ammo and I need to get a flashlight so I can see things, which I believe I need an acid mushroom. And, oh, hello. Come here, you fish. You bladdery son of a bitch. I'm squeezing you. All right. Indigenous, okay. Herbivore is small. I don't, you know what? Same for a bladder, open-ended vascular tubing. Okay, well, we'll just, this isn't that important. Thought there was more of this. Oh, man. All right, so I gotta, <laughs> I don't have a flashlight. Bit of a mistake. Bit of a mistake. Ooh, hello. Writhing weed. Delicious when cooked with a side of tomato plants, which are not native to this planet. 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 Plant. Planet. Hmm. So mushroom C. Writhing weed. How come it's exploitable and then just C? Writhing weed, well adapted to both shallow waters and cave systems, this plant lives in symbiosis with coral species which forms around the base of the stem. Which forms? Coral species which forms? Cor coral species which form? I don't know. Well, uh, I, I don't have the, the chops to make a call on that. Hmm, where is... I am never going to find a limestone chunk in this incredible darkness. There's a ooh, table coral. Useful. I might be able to find it down here, though. Let's grab us some... Oh, shit, there's Bob. Alright, Bob, we're gonna run away from Bob. Oh, he got me, that's fine. Grab that cave sulfur, which I think is, like, one of the biggest bottlenecks. Oh, I saw you. I There you are. Okay, let's just go ahead and get closer. Boom. Nice. That was lucky indeed. So I, I, I think that that's like the, the cave sulfur is one of the early bottlenecks in Subnautica that everybody kind of runs into. If you watch any playthroughs, if you watch any YouTubers, if you're playing it yourself and you haven't like, you know, if you're coming for advice or looks on how to play the game, ooh, the cave sulfur is usually one of the things that I have found to be the biggest bottleneck. 
just because it's not really it's not obvious it's like oh whoa get the cave sulfur like you think it's, it's going to be in like a a chunk or in some kind of very easily identifiable location and not build up in some weird flower that grow, grow that is growing along the wall glass oh good i did get that quartz i'm sorry my speech is like completely fucked right now and we shall make a beautiful flashlight and i need to have a drink of water as well unfortunately all right so now i'm kind of at the point where i need to get bladder fish when i see them and this is a i'll get an animation for this which i really like like the like the rabbit ray swims by very cool subnautica has a very like very smart uh take on animations hmm. Ugh, the burps i'm having the burps it's a very smart take on animations where they're very contextual and they'll play like the first time like i like i don't know if the flashlight had a first time you take it off play but the knife does i think yeah like you look at it you spin it around you do some slices with it you put it back i shouldn't have done that in the dark it's trying to showcase the cool animations of subnautica god that guy's just he's just the bitey he's the biteiest bastard you've ever done seen oh, he's so bitey oh he seems to have worn himself out all right come here we got this oh, another bitey bastard Bitey bastard beast! Oh! Hmm. So this will be a pretty long journey through a game here. So this will be very series-esque. So if you're here, chill out, relax, hit that follow button. Let me know that you're out there having a good time. If this is on a on the uh, on the vods. You know, like, comment, subscribe, do things, do 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 the stuff that makes you feel like you want to come back. Oh shit! Oh no, we might be fucked. This might be it. 42 meters to go in about three seconds, maybe six seconds. Oh, no, we're good. Also, that's something that I really like about Subnautica is it is, it is impressively forgiving. You know, for a game, but once you kind of understand what's going on, it's not that hard of a game. It's It takes a lot for your shit to get destroyed. Like, you've got to do dumb stuff to, to really get your stuff destroyed. And it, so it punishes you uh, in an interesting way. Where it's like, if you really, like, you have to fuck up to die. Like, you have to... Oh, here we go. What's this? A laser cutter fragment already. That's good. That's a good step up in the right direction. Though I won't get diamonds for a while. I'll have to wait till I go... Well, we'll see. We'll see what comes up as necessary first. We should definitely go to the, uh, the other island. The one that's over here. Yeah, here first. Oh, okay. I don't know what... Oh, it's talking to this one. There it goes. Yeah, so I will have to be attentive to that. I need to get the beacon blueprint kind of ASAP. Why is the music picking up weird? Calm down, music. There's no need for this. Nothing's, nothing strange is going... Oh, here we go. First sea glide fragment. Come on. You can get it. Boop. And there's... there's they also... Like, this is, like, incredibly forgiving as well. Like, they could spread these out and make this is very difficult but they do not like it's pretty easy to get the blueprints that you're after just because they do position 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 things where they uh you know kind of make sense like why wouldn't there be multiple sea glides in one place and so forth and so on because in reality like if you're not out scanning things all the time you uh would only like get the id to scan things when uh you would get like the radio message for so once again we're avoiding repairing the radio and i just kind of want to see what the effects are on that just want to see that that play out oh down we go just gonna mm, a little worried about my o2 supply don't want to go into any caves because there's no fragments no fragments no fragments in caves anytime soon i don't think there's any fragments in caves really at all until you get to the ones where, like, you get the Degasi base or whatever that has, you know, has, has been there. And, and those are generally not fragments. Those, you generally just kind of scan those and are good. And learn what it is. Which, early on, it's going to get, like, the multi-purpose room and all that crap sorted. Which is why I'll go to the other island first. That'll be a long expedition. I uh, probably will try to get the sea glide before I go there. Just because it's going to make it easier on me. And get some metal salvage early on. I don't want to get too much of it. I don't need tons of titanium. I don't... I do wish that there was a... Hmm. I know, the there's a 50-50... Basically, it's a 50-50 payout. 
between. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot y'all. Shuttleberg! What are you doing? You're just swimming into the wall. How you doing there, dude? You, uh. Hmm. Oh, you're in the wall now. Well, take care of yourself. Be safe. Say hi to the missus for me. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Bladder fish. Oh, it's a blueprints. Cured stuff we won't worry about right off the bat. Just check here. What else did I get? Is it just the grab? Yeah, the grab trap. Okay, we're good. Voice log. I wish this wouldn't stay lit up. I've heard those, you know? Scavengers and parasites. Par scavengers and parasites. Scavenger the base of the food chain. Mouth parts, small enough, little thread of organisms. Three mandibles, three legs. Assessment. Necessary waste recycler. Presence may indicate nearby cave systems. Right, right, right. right. Gotcha. Sure. Ooh, I just heard something making some noise out there. I think it is a friendly reefback. So the reason that everyone loves reefbacks is their sound kind of becomes like this reassurance that you have gotten back to safe shallows. You're away from the reapers, you're away from the, I don't know, whatever they are, the angry things that go and eat you. You know, them. You're away from them. You're somewhere safe, vaguely safe, <laughs> depending. Oh, here we go. There's another wreck. Excellent. Yeah, the the, re the uh, reef packs are great. Reef packs are probably my absolute favorite creature in Subnautica. Everything else just seems... I don't know. Some other things just seem a little a little ridiculous. Like the, the Reapers and the uh, Ghost Leviathans. But hey, it's an alien world. Life evolves any way that it wishes. Or at least any way... Which the uh, <laughs> the developers use it to. We got going on nothing in there. Is there an entrance here? There might be an entrance to this one that is accessible without the laser cutter. And that's the thing also to remember is that a lot of laser cutters. So you need you need the laser cutter now to get into the Aurora, and you need the laser cutter to get into some wrecks. I remember early on in the development of Subnautica. Let's see. What no entrance there. Where there was actually many ways into the Aurora. Like, there was one on the, the port side as it faces us that would give you, um, give you access into the ship. Pretty un unfettered access into the ship. I don't know if that's all still there, because you don't need to, like, really get into the Aurora that much. It certainly is a very important thing that you have to go to because it will get you the blueprint for the um, the escape rocket. Now this is the the question, you know, the blueprint for the escape rocket. Will that transmission still come in even if I don't have the radio? Because the reason that that transmission does come in is because you radioed out for assistance, and that was the assistance assistance that they could give you. Which of course, like it, it bears the, it bears a strong semblance to like customer support, you know, because they don't care. They're not here. They're not worried about it. You know, I guess Aurora probably loses uh, ships or um, what is it? Uh, Altera probably loses ships all the time. It's just a normal function of business at this point. All right, so we're getting farther out here. I'd like to get a bigger tank. I got a sea glide fragment. But I just need to find. A second one. Oh, the, 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 oh, I'm so interested in wanting, I want to know more about the world that, or the, the universe that the Subnautica devs has created. So that's, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some DLC get to learn more about, uh, Subnautica and its universe. Very cool prospects. Very cool. Completely unique idea. Something I always, oh, here we go. There she is. Sea Glad Fragment! Boom! Okay. Let's have a bit of a think about what we need for the Sea Glide. I think we need a... We need a battery, lubricant, copper wire. So I need two hunks of copper. Done. And so I need three hunks of copper. I need a battery. And the lubricant, I've got a base. So we need to get another hunk of copper. And... Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, cool. Damn it. Sample analyzer. Well, we can use that for decoration. Those are big. By the way, those little fragments, those are those are four by fours. They take up a lot of a lot of room. Nothing here, nothing here. Ooh, ooh, vending machine. Sweet. That guy. Vending machine, like, it's cool. Just don't really see the point of it. Like, it takes power. 
It doesn't give you a lot. It takes. It gives you like very minimal food for very minimal water. But so does cock machine. I, 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 look, look, look. They they have their they have their place and their. Oh, there's a beacon fragment here. Sweet. All right. Cool. 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 Just need to find the other beacon fragment and we'll be good. So I will be using beacon. Beacons are very cheap, actually. And that's something I didn't. There we go. This might be the last piece of copper that I need. Boom. All right. We're gonna start heading back. Not a lot. I don't think there's anything really else left here. Oh, there's a sample. Oh, there's a trash can and a sample analyzer. Sample analyzer. Sample analyzer. Mm, that's not good. I should worry about that. Oh, another sea glide fragment. That's two more titanium for me. That's pretty good. All right, there we go. Okay, so we got the trash can. We got that stuff. I will be trying to, like, I will definitely be building a base. I don't know, like, the best location for a base in my previous in my uh in my offline in my private game i kind of built a base towards that island but i don't think that's that's as useful as building a base towards this island because there's just more to explore over here but it is deeper like if you build over here you have better access to like to early diamonds and stuff like you can get the to the heat vents over there and the mushroom kingdom has a lot of lithium but uh i don't know I'm not, like I said, I think the map is very well truncated in Subnautica, but I am not, just because I have many hours into it, the map has changed a lot many times that I've played the game, and <laughs> I am not the most familiar with it. I can't really, I shouldn't make an excuse for this, like, I just don't know it that well. You know, I, I probably should pull up a... Let's see what we're doing, we got... Oh, Jesus Christ, we got a lot of those. Alright, we'll get a, get a lot of water stored up <laughs> that will be be useful i guess food i still have like four three or four food food cubes food cubes it should be ooh, help me out god I haven't I, I need to get a habitat kind of asap so i need this for sure oh, i only have one food cube left in tree and block all right i'm gonna stick you guys in there for now uh fire extinguisher flares not super big on the flares. They're just too bright. I know that's a weird thing to say, right? The flares are too bright? What's wrong with me? Undoubtedly many things. Uh, let's go to this. Get copper wire done. We need to get a battery. Fuck. Okay. Oh, need to get some acid mushrooms. Go ahead and grab two of those. Boop, boop. That works. This is actually a nice little spawn point for... Hmm. Are you angry? What's going on? You alright? You having a bit of a fit for uh ow drop lot. Alright. Now he's done being a jerk. I don't know, I think it's a good spawn point. It's it's pretty, pretty central. It's got nice areas around to build. I might just end up building a base in the safe shallows just to avoid any complications. Though it's not the best location. I don't know. Like I said, base locations, not the easiest thing to decide. Hmm. Okay, there's that. Don't need to ring it. We do need to make these guys into water. This could take a minute. This is this is this is like the moment where you want to take a take a deep breath, relax. I don't know. Enjoy the the noises. Yeah, enjoy the noises that we got going on here. Because uh, it's Subnautica, baby. We're in the we're in the ocean. We're in the deep spooky sea. The deepest spookiest sea. Spooky sea. Mm, and we will also... Oh! Ooh, I just need silver ore for that. That I can do. Faux show. More importantly, this I can do right now. Boom! It's a big moment. Yes, indeed it will. Air bladder. I don't care about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and drink up really quick. Boom. Boom. Food cube. What is it? 75 it restores. I'm at... S so I can go all the way down to 25 before we have an issue. Sure. Alright, so that's good. Let's go ahead and drop off some of this titanium. I didn't think I'd be able to get that much in there. Uh, shit. I'm... We'll say focus and see. Alright, what's our next? So that was... that. Was, let's call it end to Expedition 1. There, we're going to start Expedition two so we need to go deeper go deeper 
And we need to get the high capacity tank. High capacity tank. Uh, I think those are our main objectives here, is to get the materials for that. So I need, was it two glass, some titanium? Is it two glass? Let's, just, let's check. I think it might be one glass. Do, 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 do. I don't know why. I, once again, my scroll wheel doesn't work, so I apologize for this. So yeah, so two glass, so four quartz. We got the titanium and silver ore. So let's go down. All right, so we're going to get a little showcase of this. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Yeah, put that right in your face. I'm sure that's safe. Turn that off because it's annoying. It really is. The 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 depthometer is unnecessary. Ooh, sea glide fragment. Oh well, fuck. There's a sea glide fragment right there. Mobile vehicle bay. That's starting off in the right direction. Go ahead and grab this just for its titanium. Get our sea glide back out here. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got. Give me some air, maybe. Thirty seconds. Yeah, we'll get the air. So there should be silver. There we go. Maybe I'll find some silver. I just need to find the sandstone chunks. I need to get those sandstone chunks. Where are they at? Come here, sandstone chunk. Reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself to me! Sandstone chunk. Oh, quartz is good. No, no, no! Eh, no. Can I, can I like... Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Okay. They do hurt. They do hurt. That is for sure not a fan of them and they also really hurt your oxygen so i need to get out of here because we are almost fucked uh i guess if i cut the creep vine i'll get some new i'll get some new blueprints for this let's go ahead and get oh god help where am i <laughs> what is this here creep vine eh 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 Mm. I get two of those, so I can make fiber mesh with that. Yeah, so it is, it is important to pick up new resources because they will give you new blueprints. Where are the sandstone chunks? We got to, we got these guys. God, I don't really need any more titanium. Well, I will, but not right now. I need copper. I'm going to build up my supply of copper. Batteries are super important. I need to get a battery to replace this thing's battery as well. I think there's a... No, that's not there we go. Oh, goddamn. Oh, that's copper. That's fine. Oh, this is excellent. Lead! I will need some lead, but lead will... Lead does threaten to completely overwhelm our inventory. I got 18 sec... Excellent. Go to the surface. We'll head back down to that same cave. There we go. That would be useful. Hmm. Getting deep. Uh-oh. I have lost that cave. Oh, well. What do you do? That's the ocean for you. Ooh. We might be able, while we're out, to find some sea glide fragments. Maybe. They do tend to spawn, like, on this... In this region. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to worry about that. Yeah, we don't want to. Do not want to engage in that quite yet. Oh, I should. Uh... Oh no, I'm, I'm good. Oh, here's our first infected specimen. Let's go ahead and do a do a scan of you. You fucking asshole! What? How did? Uh, you just swam through the ground. That's one thing that I do not like about Subnautica is the propensity for, for objects and items to go through the ground. In my uh, private playthrough, the uh, Reaper attacked my Sea Glide, and it it took it through the ground. So I had to I had to use the warp command to get myself to go through the ground as well, because there's no, there's not a uh, no-clip command. So I had to just kind of warp myself forward till I was good. How are we doing? I need one more quartz, and I think I should head back, just so I can get the better tank. That's my next objective here. Yeah, those resources for sure. The Aurora should be blowing up soon, I think. I think probably tomorrow afternoon we'll have the Aurora detonate. Okay, we're good. Let's get back down in the water here. Mm, seems that the game was having a bit of a fit. Was unhappy about my angle of attack. Mm. Hello, creep vine. Goodbye, creep vine. 
Alrighty. Onward. Now. Oh. Shit. Occurs to me. Oh, what did I get the copper for? Batteries? Was I getting copper for batteries? Oh, I didn't write it down. This is what happens when I don't write shit down in this game. It's so easy to get distracted. So many fun things to do. So much excitement to be had. Alright, what do we got? Alright, so we'll make a fiber mesh because that will... Is that only... Okay, because that will clear that out. We need two pieces of glass. I've got the silver. I've got the titanium. Let me take off my tank here. Which is something that I think that people probably don't know either, like, early on. Like, just take off your tank. There you go. Alright, high capacity O2 tank! Completed. Oh. Alright, cool beans. Uh, I could make another first aid kit. Just to stay a positive of the cave, of the, uh, cave sulfur, of the, the first aid kits. But, but, alright, so batteries. Let's, uh, first off, this is not quite ready to go. 79% we'll get there. I think I have a spare. I do. So. And water we might as well top off. Alright, so that gives us two slots. We definitely don't need that. Alright, let's get a... Let's get a Bax. Let's build us a Bax. Build us a Bax to put our Bax stuff on. In. On in? In on. Inundation. Now, I've learned my lesson. Don't put it on top of your uh, escape pod. Actually, it would have made more sense for me just to come out here and do this. There you go. Take care of yourself. Boxo, don't get eaten by anything. All right, so that's good. Now I need to get. Oh, let's get batteries first. Let's get. I might have enough to do four batteries. That'd be rad. Two batteries. I have enough to do two batteries. Yep. Oh, hello. Look at this. Look at this asshole. Look at him. Just being an asshole. Asshole fish. That's what you are, man. You're an asshole fish. I'm not gonna tame you. You know I'm not gonna tame you because last time I tamed you guys, one of you guys went insane and blew up my fucking Cyclops. <laughs> it was... I don't even understand what happened. He just kept attacking it until it exploded and I couldn't do anything about it. It's really a mess. But that was a long time ago. Maybe they fixed it and made it better. Doubt it. Highly doubt that sentiment. Alright, let's make some bats. Get them batteries. Them batteries. Boom. And... Boom. Looking good. Alright, so I got two spare batteries. I'm gonna leave one battery here. Because that's good. That's a good early kind uh, of crap. I'm going to take you with me just in case because I might hit 25 while I'm out and about. And if I do, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, I don't have a don't have a plan. I need a plan of action. I need a plan of attack. Let's see here. So we have got the high cap tank. Uh, we need to go deeper. Need to go deeper. Um, let's see here. We need to get the sea glide fragments, which now should be within our reach. Within as long as I can pay attention to what's going on. So we got stalker teeth. So they gotta get those teeth. Eventually we'll we'll get the enamel glass, won't be an issue. Table coral, so forth and so on. Scattered wreckage. Ooh. Checks in heat over twelve hundred degrees Celsius. Patterns because with all disintegration during atmospheric entry. Fair enough. Very, very good. Hmm. I don't think I want to be going there yet. I think I want to keep going. I want to get into the, the kelp zone, or the red kelp zone. So that way... That way I can get the sea glide fragments. Also, I need the mobile vehicle bay. The, the, the mobile vehicle bay. We need to get the mobile vehicle bay. So that way I can build the sea glide. And the sea glide itself, I think, is just a necessary thing to have here early on. Uh, the moon pool... The moon pool, I might luck out, I might get the moon pool in one go, or I might have to go into the, uh, under the floating island and discover the parts there. It's a, it's very hit or miss, and that's fine, like, I like, that's the kind of replayability about the game that I enjoy. That's what is, what is inspiring me to do another one of these bad boys, or to do videos on it, while I know that, you know, better YouTubers are out there playing this game right now. Well, I'll have you know. I'm one of, I'm, I, hmm? Okay, sea glide fragment, excellent. Perfect, oh, bioreactor, I don't know. I never use the bioreactor, I always end up using a bunch of, ooh. Yeah, this is a sea glide fragment. All right, all right, buddy, all right, all right, hun. I don't know, what should I name her? Every, everybody has named her, right? <laughs> every, every 
every YouTuber or streamer has named your companion AI voices. Not a big fan of names of that kind of fashion. Okay. Some more bioreactors. We'll get us our full bioreactor. I never use the bioreactor. I usually just use solar panels and then eventually either skip to thermal or nuclear. Because, I mean, nuclear is aw. This is just going to get me back or whatever. So at least one less, frag one less fragment for me to do to mistake as a uh, as a sea glide fragment. All right, up we go. It's a little bit of a long journey. I don't know why I'm going up right now. I'm just kind of trying to get a lay of the land and I might as well go for air anyway. And there's no reason to waste sea glide battery. Come on, uh, keep it in five like an idiot. Idiot. All right, doing good here. I think I got pretty much all this has to offer. I am trying to keep an eye out for the beacon fragments. They're in a weird location. I think the beacon fragments are in the safe shallows. I just need to kind of swim around the perimeter of the safe shallows. Really asshole plants. Stabby asshole plants. That's what they are. I need to get the rebreather. But the issue with that is I need a lead line suit first. I'm um, getting a ton of titanium for no reason. A uh, glass bar table. Hello. I never use this table. I feel like I should. It looks like a, it's a nice table. Solid, futuristic, well-designed, ergonomic, friendly. All of the things that the Altera Com Co uh, Corporation stands for. Very important things. Uh, it's just a door. Oh, there's nothing in there. It's, that's the sneaky, sneaky nothing, nothing pool they're trying to do to me. Salt deposit. Can't do anything with that yet. I never. Also salt. Like I. Oh, excellent. Sea glide fragments. I think you only need two. It might be three. Alright, it is three. Sea glide is a big thing. Anything else floating around down here? Not that I can tell. Alrighty, 30, 30 seconds. Hey, 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 oh, I can try to get some resources off these guys. These guys, I think, have copper on them. Like, I think the barnacles are primarily of copper. Uh, oh, whoa, that was really high out of the water there. That's a, it's a glitch because um, it's very clear that there's, like, two different physics grids and you're transitioning between one of them when you go to the surface yeah copper excellent go ahead and free you guys of some of these barnacles and i will get i hate how they have the like they don't need mobile turrets you know who thought refax needed to be mobile turrets seriously it's very rude i find it i find it very unfortunate but it should get us some pretty come on break already this is a barnacle right Oh, it's being the stupid barnacle. It has like a weird positioning where you try to where you try to get it. All right, and so the barnacle's off of you. We're very close to the aurora, and it's gonna explode at literally any moment. Thirty-one food, gotcha. Very good. So we'll be we'll probably be irradiated here in this area. Oh shit! There. Okay, so let's get this light bulb before we have the explosion. It's excellent. It's good. It's a good find. Good, fine. That should get me... I don't know what this gets me. What this little bit gets me. But we get a PDA to listen to, which is exciting and fun. And... Oh, I should have read that. Ultra Glide Fins. Eh. Take them or leave them. They're useful. Definitely are useful. So we got a new PDA. Grab this PDA. Oh, why does it turn off? Grab another tank of lead for free. Okay, so this is talking about... So once again... Like, they're talking about, like, no radiation suit. And I'm like, why? Why are they trying to get a radiation suit at this current juncture? The Aurora hasn't yet exploded. You can hear the Reaper, kind of. You might not be, you guys might not be able to hear, hear it, but I can't. I heard some Reaper screams. Okay. There we go. And we're good, 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 good. Let's go ahead and just consume this bad boy right now. Uh, let's see. So I need one more piece for the beacon, Seamoth. Need two more pieces for the vehicle bay. Laser cutter, not bad. This thing I, I never use either. It's a cool it's a cool object. It really is, but I just never seem to get lost in the caves. They're usually pretty easy to find your way out of. Like all you gotta do is think for a moment. Generally you can get out. Alright, so we got crew log number one. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. Okay. We're not in immediate danger. Right. Where are the rescue teams? I think this is where the I built my base last game. It. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. A lot of Scottish accents in this game. Coordinates, but the roots are radiated. I assume so it's Scottish. What are you going to do? I think it's I'm Scottish. Maybe it's Irish. I don't know. I have no idea. 
I am not a not not that good. Yeah, so why did why are they trying to make radiation suits? I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. So like so why do they need a radiation suit? Like these are like this is life pod six. I'm pretty sure Yeah, the Aurora that's the Aurora is what they're talking about. Like I just don't I don't know. It, like, it seems like a weird continuity issue with the game. Alright, let's go with this one. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's okay. attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop winding it around like that. You'll catch the Future fuel egg. Uh, And also, the fuel lines. Why are there fuel lines in the life pod? Like, I don't know. There's a lot of... A lot of questions that are, are raised. Here we go. Look at you. That are raised by that life pod alone. That definitely are like, eh. You guys could have done a little, little better on that. Just a little bit. Doesn't need to be super better, but you know. Consider. Oh, there's a box over there. That might. Ooh. Oh, man. I like this. I'm liking this little area here. But it is. It's so what are we were seven hundred meters away, which puts us like over seventeen hundred meters away. I gotta pick my nose. Right, so I'll be right back. Mm. Mm. That's it puts us over seventeen hundred meters away from the other island, which is not that good. It's just it's very like I said, base placement is is important, but difficult. So it's getting really quiet. I think that's a sign that the Aurora is getting ready to uh, do its do its dirty deed, do its dirty dirty blow. Hmm. Also, Lightbot seems to have spawned just closer to the other island in general. In this instance, Ooh, yes, excellent. So that's a mobile vehicle bay. Boom! Oh, we got an angry angry stacker. He's angry. He wants me. He wants to give me the, the angry yells. Uh, oh, another light pod. Convenient. Good. Sea glide fragment. Might as well just take the titanium from that. What do we got going on in here? Anything good? Alright, we have a log and a compass heading on the hood. Very important. Very important. Well, kind of important. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Life pod three. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about gotcha. this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. Alrighty. So that's that. Now, what else am I looking for? I think what I need to do. I think what I need to do now is. Let's see. Glass steel, not super worried about that. Compass, short. Okay, so I need the mobile vehicle bay fragment. So that is. I've got lubricant. Do you need lubricant? So I need two lubricants. I need a titanium ingot, which I have enough. To, I need two titanium ingots. Uh, power cell, which I need. Rubber, foreign batteries. I got the lead. Alright, and glass. So I need to get... You get some more quartz. I think I got enough. I need to get maybe some more lead as well. Oh, wow, it got nighttime fast while I was busy figuring... Figuring shit out. Oh, Jesus. Why is it? Oh, we just had a little eclipse. We're having an eclipse. I love how you can have eclipses. Eclipses, eclipses in in Subnautica. It's very cool. Why should we just stay above the water? Like that'd be rad. Can you just like stay above the water? Eh? Not like not be so weird. Thank you. Kaboom! This explosion is beautiful, by the way, without a doubt. Very well done. More stuff to loot. Blows off the front of the ship. It's very cool. Very cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Alright, so I got the radiation suit, which is good. 
Okay, cool. So I also need stuff for batteries and that. What does the power cell take? I think the power cell only takes one battery. I think the power cell is like two silicone, one battery, and maybe some titanium. Yeah, two batteries. Okay, fine. Be that way. So I'm gonna take two of these because I definitely have the. It's maybe one more copper wouldn't hurt if I could get that. Okay, titanium is a go. Where to? I need. I need something else. I don't need, I'm not going to pick up any more metal salvage, it should definitely be copper. Alright, good. Got four copper, bunch of titanium, let's get another one of these for a lubricant, because we'll need to lube it up, we, you know, let's just grab some more metal salvage just in case. I think I have enough titanium for two ingots, but I will just lock that in with an extra eight. So that's good. Alrighty, so we went deeper, we found a bunch of useful things. Now, let's head back to our life pod. Hmm. Bill. We'll call the life pod Bill. Head back to Bill. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Look, uh, thrilled with your life. Yeah. Don't worry, Bill. Things get better. I don't need that. I don't need the titanium. Space is... Space converse... Uh, space conversation. Space, uh, uh, conservation. Space conservation is really important right now. Just because I don't want to waste a bunch on boxes and shit. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make up some titanium. Don't need silicone. Keep that in mind. Do not need silicone. I have silicone. Silicon. Silicone. Is it silicon or silicone? Which is which? Alright, we'll get titanium. I think I can get two of these, actually. Boom jams, that's good. Let's get... Oh! Oh no, it's... I don't need the fabricator tool for the, the mobile vehicle bay. It is a make in the... Alright, so... I, oh, so I do need two power cells. Fuck me, okay. I do not think I have enough for two power cells. Uh, I need four batteries. Let's see if I can do that. Let's go ahead and grab... Another two of you. There we go. Nope. Need four of you. Four of you. Oof. Did I make the lubricant? I did. I must have, because there's no base materials to continue to build. And we got two we got enough batteries. Let's get our So this is yeah, this is this is what I figured would be the, the stopping point. I need to go out and get another creep vine or another creep seed. Boom, boom. So you have power cell. What's that? Where are we at here? So I can make the move vehicle bay at least. I'll take uh, some of these materials off my back and we can go from there. That one took a little bit longer than I thought I would. Alright. Back out to. The forest! Oh, whatever this thing is. Oh boy. I don't want to release it yet. Stop. Stop bugging me. Oh god, you're just gonna bug the shit on me. Okay. You stopped. Good. Alright, if I go this way, I think I will hit some forest. Here. I need to find the last beacon place. Hmm. So many things to do. Uh oh. Large coral tube? It has. What? Oh, it's a creature egg. I thought that was, um, radioactive material. We'll have to come back to this coral tube and just kind of... Oh, man, I hate doing this. God, the aurora looks so good. All blown up. All dead. Don't worry. It's okay. And down we go. There we go. Okay. Got this guy again. It's got to be in this direction. This is, like, the compass is, is useful for this shit kind of early on. But it gets to a point where you don't really need the compass. You, you can figure it out on your own. You're smart. You're smarting. You you learn. Get your brain molecules uh, rubbing together. We are in the red kelp zone. What? God, I hate nighttime. Time sucks. Anything done at night? Oh, do I have? Okay, I do still have some spare batteries, which is what I want. Which is what I needed. Oh, it's what I must have. Batteries. Hmm. 
Where is the damn kelp forest? Where's the green kelp? Give me the creep forests. Oh, I don't know where I am. It's so dark. It's so dark. I'm getting to, get to spookums. I'll never find my way out of here. Ooh. Ooh. Do I need quartz? I think I do, actually. Ow, ow. Stop being so rude to me. No, there's no need. Jesus. Grab you. And we'll grab you. I think I need glass for this sea glide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God. Look at these guys. They are brutally on top of me here. Just, just assholes. Cave-based assholes. Fortunately, Sea Glide. Ooh, music's kicked back up. God, I love the music in this game. Ooh, I gotta get water soon. Then I'll probably need food as well. Where in the hell is the kelp at? Where's the kelp? Show me the kelp. Damn it. What's that a Sea Glide battery? There's the kelp. God, you got so far away. And good. There we go. Alrighty. I think that's all I need, and then I should be able to get the Sea Glide. Now, the problem with Sea Glide is, is that I won't have a way to. refuel it. Hmm. Or power it. Repower it. Oh, we're out of power sources. That's good. Uh, I saw. So I need to get some food really quick. Let's go ahead and put this new battery in here. We're gonna have so many batteries just laying around. Grab some boomerang fish if the game will let me. Come on! Come on! Jesus Christ, man. Alright. Looking good. Come here, peeper. Probably don't need this much. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We're smart. We know what we're doing. <laughs> in air quotes. Uh, did I get enough glass? I hope I did. I think I got... Oh, yeah, I should be good. I should be at least four glass. So that's a solid... Okay. So I need to get this into... First off, silicon rubber. Sure. Get the glass done. Yep, see how it lit up an electronic slot there. Get all this glass done. And boom, another power cell... Okay, so that should be that at least. Oh, food. Let's go ahead and cook up this peeper really quick. What do you got for me? Did I not make lubricant? Did I not make enough lubricant for this? Fuck, I did not make enough lubricant for this. God damn it. Hmm. That's not cool. Shit. Okay. So, uh, I need to go back to the creep mine. Damn, I thought I had enough lubricant. But I had a lubricant. Oh, I have a lubricant maybe in here, maybe. Nope. All right, back. Look how close this is. And I'm just, just stupid. It's dark out. Don't judge me. Don't judge me when it gets dark. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. There we go. Boop. Nope. Boop. That should be it. That should be all I need. In theory, that's all I need. I need glass, power cell, titanium ignant, 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 really ignant, ingot, and lubricant, and we should be solid. We should be. Let's check. Let's check here. Because I've got the mobile vehicle bay. Solid on that. Sea moof. Just need that stupid lubricant. Man, I thought I had that. I thought I was good. All right. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get in my belly. There we go. And I'm going to build... I'm not going to build anything. I'm just going to go ahead and drop my mobile vehicle bay. I'm going to drop it like on the edge of this. I'll have to move it when it comes time to build the... Uh, do, 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 the Cyclops. All right, so I need to drop you. Very good. Oh, that didn't work. Sure. You do it. You need to do it this way, apparently. Boop! Away you go! Good luck, my friend! Alright. Boom! Got our nice little robots who are gonna help to spray nano machines all over shit. And we shall build our Seamoth! That's a moment, man. Right there. 
That's a moment. Stop telling me about exercising. I'm surviving for my life. I'm fighting... Of course you're surviving for your life. I'm fighting for my life here. Alright, Seamoth Chi. Oh, I love you. Alright, so maybe I should... Consider... Building. Alright, where are we at here? So first off, let's dump all this off. It might be time for a expedition. Go ahead and... There we go. Boom. We got a battery spare. Now, now I'm always going to have like one silicone rubber random because I built the knife. Alright. Let's save some power. We'll, we'll, we'll take a little bit more time and I'm going to get another, uh, another silicone built and then I'm going to build another power cell. Wait. Does power... Do I need two batteries or... Oh, no. I need one silicone for that, don't I? Am I crazy? Am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. Okay, cool. So I need more copper then. Ugh, got the hunt for red oak, red oak copper. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Please, please don't let that dissuade you. Hmm. That was bad shit. Come on, there's got to be some more deposits along this. There has to be. The copper is the big thing early on. Definitely want to get you guys. I actually need to get four of you. Copper early on is a bottleneck. Copper, copper generally tends to be a bottleneck just because you need copper for so many things. You need copper for the wiring. You need copper for computer chips. You need copper for basically anything that has any kind of electrical component. You need copper for Now, I'm not saying that doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm not saying that that's annoying. It just would be nice if I had a couple more ways to get copper before I get the prawn suit than just mining the deposits. God, I love the Seamoth. I love the, the fact that Seamoth can turn 360 degrees without, you know, you having to worry about the back end because it doesn't have a back end. There's just, there's, there's, there's nothing not to like about a wonderful Altera Patterns Seamoth. Sea protecting you and your family through the dangers of the ocean. Why are there two titanium in these chunks? Go away. No one likes you. Uh... Ooh. 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 Okay. All right, let's get back into this bad boy. Also, the fact that it can apparently synthesize air is really rad. If I go to uh, this way, I think. I want to skirt around the edges of this first because I'm now that I'm faster, I'm, I'm looking for the beacon fragments because I need beacons. I need one more fragment for beacons. And then we'll be pretty set. Anything here? No, it's starting to light really quick. It's only going to hinder my ability to see things at this point. I'm also keeping my eye out for the limestone deposit. Ooh, that's probably somewhere I've been. Let's just go ahead and avoid that for now. Like I said, I think the beacon fragments are definitely in the safe shallows. So if I stay in the safe shallows, oh, I should not only get better access to copper. So I need at least two pieces of copper if that's possible. And I need one beacon fragment. I haven't made a new expedition log recently, so I'm getting a bit distracted on what I'm trying to do here. There we go. Ow. That apparently is not the smartest direction to move after exiting the Seamoth. Keep, uh, keep that in mind. Sure, clear the Seamoth first. Uh, Seamoth's gonna take it. Oh, here we go, that's a, this could be it. Here we go. Ah, titanium. Hmm. Bane of my... Oh, there's another one. Go ahead and knock you open. There we go. So that's our copper, so we're good there. So let's focus on uh, beacon fragments. This I have... What? Oh, the, they're the floaters. Wait, what? What is this? They're floaters. Those are definitely floater shadows. Which way is the sun coming in? What's happening here? What's going on? Oh, hello. This I can actually explore into with a bit more intensity because... Alright, we're 74C. I can survive that for a couple seconds, I think. There we go. What are we talking about? Nice. And up. Up, 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 up. Those, those are usually high-risk, high-reward locations. Or, I don't know, like, the thermal damage really isn't... Beacon fragment. 
Thermal damage isn't that bad, honestly. Like, you can survive a long time being hit by thermal damage. I don't know if that's... Once again, like I've said, the game is difficult. The game is hard, because, like, when you die, you lose everything in your inventory. You know, if your Seamoth gets blown up, that's hours that you have to... What's going on here? It's like scanning. That's hours of repetition that you have to repeat, you know? But, uh... But, yeah. Alright, so I, unfortunately, need to take a quick, uh, quick break. I'm trying to not to do it, but I apologize. It must be done. I've got to go. I'll be right back, and I'll be back for at least another hour, and then we shall wrap up this segment of the show because uh, that's my new format we will it'll be evolving in apparent so here we go let me go ahead and just transfer this over right quick boom there it is and i shall return
All right, I'm back. I'm back with some more uh, Subnautica. Nothing's really changed. <laughs> Didn't miss anything? I had things to take care of. And now taken care of. All right. Boom. Now then, what do we have floating around tar? Oh, that door. I think I just opened this shit. Sweet. So I got the beacon. I think I got everything I honestly wanted, didn't I? Got the beacon fragment. I got the, uh... What else did I get? I think I got the, the copper I needed as well. Oh, boy. What is this? Here we go. What do I got going on here? Uh, it doesn't look like anything super important. I can scan something here. I think it's this desk. Oh, cool. Excellent. All right, let's look around with this really quick. This light is so much better. I right, so close that. Nothing to cut through here. Oh, okay. So I need the repair tool for this guy. Interesting. All right. Let's see about that reality here because I think I can get a repair tool pretty much with what I've got on me. I've got the crash powder. I've got all relevant things. So, Alright, let's get back to the let's get back to Bill. See what Bill's doing, see what Bill's holding up. Uh maybe grab some bladder fish for some water here. Uh what else can we do? What else can we do? A lot of peepers around here. Oh, hey, dude, how's it going? A lot of peepers around here. I'll grab you. If you're dumb enough to swim up to me, I'm gonna grab you. Grab you. Oh, here we go. Another bladder fish. Excellent. Looks good to me. Anything else? Anything else? Where's Seamoth? Seamoth? Where'd you go? Hello? Oh, Jesus. It's right under me. Alright. Onwards! Try to grab some bladder fish on our way if we can. See any schools of bladder fish? Oh, there's one. There's a bunch. Bladder fish. Bladder fish. Another bladder fish over here. Bladder fish. Let's go ahead and get back to our sea moth here. And away we go. Boop. Ouch. That was stupid. Bad transition. Bad transition. This is, uh, that's what that was. Shouldn't have, shouldn't, have, shouldn't have done that. Alrighty. And we have arrived. I have this crash powder really quick and I can make some decisions about that while I'm in here. Okay, so I need to, first off, let's make the water that I need. With these guys, I don't die while I'm crafting crap. Seems like a good idea, personally. Grab all of that, come on. Oh, is this done? Yes, actually it is. That's good. And one last bit of water here. There we go. And I got a boomerang fish. Do I have a random other fish? Do I have two boomerangs, perhaps? No, just one. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and make a snack out of you. And finish up with this water. Good. Get our health back. Okay. So now I need two batteries. I don't know what for now. I've forgotten. But I'm going to make some batteries. I think I need it for another power cell. Yeah, I think that's what I need it for. Spare power cell. Let's grab this out of here. How are we doing? 100, 100, 100. This is a zero. Oh, that's another 100. Oh, I thought I had a zero charge battery somewhere under. Oh, maybe I used it. That'd be good. That'd be red. Grab you. All right, a spare power cell for the sea moth, which I'll probably never actually end up using. You know, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. It's not that big of a deal either way. Uh, fins, fins. I can't do the other fins yet because I don't have the modification station. Okay. Silicon. Goddamn silicon rubber. Be for everything. Uh, pff, I'll leave you here. Fine. Let's go. Let's need one, one more of these. Honestly. <laughs> the, I should just stock up on silicon rubber, but it just isn't. It is used. I'll just get two of these. Fuck it. There we go. I'll have four silicon rubber to spare. Uh, because I think I might need silicon rubber for the, uh, oh, that's what I need to look at. Need to look at the radiation suit next. And maybe the rebreather as well. That's a hard call. 
Let's see here. Radiation suit, two lead, two fiber mesh. I was just over there. Oh, I should have looked at it in the in the smart way instead of swimming all the way back. That would have been that would been the way to handle it. All right, let's make some more silicon rubber here. God damn it! I feel like an idiot now. Like a total idiot. And one more mesh. I'll be good. I think I've got enough lead. All right, what do we got? I need a repair tool. Done. All right, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and deposit some of this crap. Sure, that can all go in there. How much lead do I have? I have one. I'm missing one lead as well, which I'll have to deal with. Throw the rest of this into here. Oh, I've got the beacons, so... I should get a beacon out. I should get a beacon that's like a temporary beacon in case I have to. Why is that always turning back on? I don't want it back on. Boom. Get a beacon just in case. We end up in a situation where a beacon would be uh, useful. There we go. Right, I should do that. I got a beacon. We've got water, which I am thinking I'm going to deposit as well. Oh, that stalker is so close. He's going to be an annoying neighbor. He's an annoying neighbor. Power cell. Not super big on those things to carry around right off the bat. All right, good, 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 good. And get the sea move. There we go. So it's nighttime. Fuck. Nighttime is very problematic. Very disorienting. Very. Good. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do a quick little expedition look here. So this is expedition three. So we have. We still need to go deeper. But that is a, I think that's a continual, repeatable task here. So EX3, let's see here. I need, I guess, radiation suit is what I need to be focused on. So radiation suit, I need, oh, I have two lead. So lead's good, so I need uh, creep mine samples. Sample, uh, the rebreather. I need a wiring kit, which to get, and I need so that means I need another. We'll get two creep. We'll get so that's creep fine samples times four, so I can get three, two more wiring mesh or two more fiber mesh, which is all I need for the suit and that wiring kit. I think I need two silver for, so I need to get a silver. So silver. So silver, uh, time to get one of those. Anything else, anything else. Uh, definitely do exploration as well. That will be solid. God, everything is just bumping the shit out of me. Right, we got the beacons. Alrighty, multi-purpose room, sure, sure. Bioreactor, we got that, we got all that. Okay. All right, we're good. Where to go next? Let's just head off into, uh, actually I need to go into a, a creep find location because that would be the smart thing to do. Not go where I am going, which is not the smart thing to do because in this creep find location, I should be able to get silver. Okay, so I need what? Oh, Jesus Christ. God, that thing hurts too. Need one, two. Two, three, four. Thank you. I was trying not to get murdered by the by the, the, the angry fish with the big teeth. It's always an important thing. It's always a goal. Really. Oh, what is that? I think it's a mobile vehicle bay fragment, right? Yes, it is. Go ahead and just grab the the titanium off of that. Sure. Come here. There we go. All right, that's that. Wow, he's infected. Interesting. That means he's, that, that's why he's being so aggressive. That's fair, I guess. Sure. Uh, their tooth. I'm not too worried about the, the teeth yet. Alright, so we got our creep vine samples, right? Fills up our inventory quite a bit. It's a silver. I need one silver. This really shouldn't be that long of an expedition. It should be relatively short. One silver. One silver. Just need to get a sandstone chunk. Come on, baby. Sandstone chunk. I have lead in it, knowing my luck. Is that... Their mobile vehicle bay. Oh, what is that? There you go. 
Oh, okay, there's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. Sure. I'll take it. Oh, fuck! Damn, son, that was not okay. Do I have a repair tool? I do have a repair tool. Excellent. Yeah, the repair tool I should have had earlier. Honestly. I should usually get your repair tool before you have the, uh, the Seamoth. Just because. Well, I mean, normally you'd get it, like, right off the bat. Is the way the game is formatted. You would have repaired the, uh, the habitat earlier on. Mmm, that's not doing anything good for me. Come on, just one... Just, just, just give me four sandstone fragments all in one place. I think... Ooh. Actually, yeah, 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 I know. Where are we at here? Oh, boy. What are we doing? What do we got? What's in, what's in here? This is a what? Oh, I cannot see shit, Captain. Mobile vehicle bay. And a mobile vehicle bay. I don't need four, four new titanium to be in my inventory right now. Thank you very much. You know what I could do? Let's go back. So I wanted to go in this coral tube last time. I just didn't because I'm a ass hat. That's right. I'm a hat that you would wear on your ass. Whoop, get through here. Oh, that was close. Mm, not there. It's not there. Where is it? Where is that giant coral tube? Do you like me a giant coral tube? Some more cave systems I'm not too worried about. I need to go back to that one wreck that I was exploring and repair its shit. Oh, no, there it is. That's what we want. That's what we're after. We're after this giant ass coral tube. Because in here is it's gonna hurt my my shit too bad. I think there is well there is a oh maybe this is a different one. God, there's a lot of them that are coming after me. They're so rude. They're just bugging the shit out of me. So this is not this is clearly not the one that I thought it was, which is unfortunate. Because there is, like, sometimes there's a coral tube. Oh, it doesn't spawn. Maybe this is all pseudo-randomly generated. Like, there's only so many configurations available at any given time. But there is a coral tube that does spawn pretty regularly, or at least seems to spawn all the time. I don't know. With a nice selection. It has, like, three... Ooh, where are you? Sea glide, sea glide. There we go. Here's a wreck. Step I think this is the wreck that I was just at. Yes, it is. Excellent. This door closed. I didn't do that. Now, let's, first off, let's repair you. Because I would rather get that done. Well, that's good. What's your story? Yeah, I think I've already been here. Oh, maybe not. I don't remember opening in. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I've been here. Okay, cool. So now I can repair this as well. I didn't know those doors were both ways. How was I supposed to know that? Boop! And there we go. Let's get our flashlight on. Oh, beacon fragment. And mobile vehicle bay fragments. Uh, mobile vehicle bay fragments. Damn it. This isn't that useful, is it? And this probably. Damn! That is an unfortunate waste of time. That's all it is. Alright, let's go and start to explore. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Murdered that man. Oh, God. Okay. I might be able to find him around here, too. There's another... That's oh, metal salvage. Okay. Actually, I might have better luck finding what I'm looking for. There we go on these guys. There we go. That's act I think that's all I needed. One silver, three fine samples. We're good to go. Alright, back to build. Do some building. I should call him Bob. That's where I do my building at. Bab the Builder. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, be safe. Oh, no! I don't need any water. I think I got water back at the base, right? I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. No guarantees if I do or do not. Oh! That was not okay. Good recovery, but not okay. 
It's a bad, bad route, my friend. Bad route. Alrighty. Go ahead and stop right out. Ouch. God damn it. Fucking Seamoth is gonna kill me. Alright. Need another health kit, because apparently I am absolutely out of control. Grab some more of this. Boom. Get that fiber mesh. Now, what do we got? Equipment. Got a lot of equipment that you can make with fiber mesh. So there's that. Alright, so I need my lead. Let's get the... I guess my lead's downstairs. My lead! I need you. For sure. Why do I need three? I needed three of them for a reason. Oh, the rebreather mask. Right, 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 right. Let's grab this. Let's see what we got going on down here. Boop, and boop, and... Oh yeah, see, I did have water. Boom, and boom. Use a snack. Come here, snack. Your delicious little snack, my friend, unfortunately. This is the circle of life. You, you came too close. And boom. Come on. You. Alright, so now I should be able to make quite a few pieces of equipment here. Oh, I can't do that yet, so we'll get this going. Da 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 da. Radiation suit. That's that. Then I need the wiring kit as well. And from there, I can make the rebreather mask. Alright, cool beans. Where am I at on the old loot tables? Good, 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 good. Alright, so. No, oh, that's not going to work. So now, let's go ahead and we're going to take, take two batteries. We'll take a beacon as well. Just in case I find anything interesting that I want to come back to. These guys away, we'll take the power cell. So that le that leaves us with a good amount of space still, because I think we'll also find on the way, if we are diligent and paying attention. So we're not I'm not going to the to the Aurora yet. I don't have I think I need the propulsion cannon before I can go there. Because it will uh well, it's. I think it's the only the only entrance now, is that main that main entrance. Come on, here we go, round and around. Yeah, so this since that's the main entrance, that will be what we have to do. Faux a show. Alrighty, nothing floating around down here. Keep my eyes out for. Rex, anything of interest. I gotta watch my crush depth because that is a problem. I don't think anything in like the creep vine zones really go any deeper than 200 meters. I think it's like once you get out of those, or they they are deeper than 300 meters. Yeah, here we go. Getting membrane trees, which is a good sign. Oh yeah. Okay. I gotta keep. If I keep my eyes peeled here, there's a lot of stuff that I can get, which will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So now I can just kind of equip. You. Uh oh, that's all I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got the rebreather, which will keep my oxygen efficiency up. The only thing I gotta worry about is, uh, is radiation, but there's no radiation this far yet that I know of. I don't even know the radiation can get this far. Uh, there we go, thermal plant. That's a good move in the right direction. Bonk. And, oh, okay, there's a huge wreck here. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff, too. Now, let me see if I can get the seam off of the thermal plant fragment. Bonk. Uh, I don't need any. Like I said, I'm not. Right now, I'm still kind of getting my my legs on the ground here. My sea legs is work. I definitely need to go in. Ooh, okay, let's go ahead and take care of that. I definitely need to go into. Oh god, god, there's so much crap I gotta worry about. So the thing that I'm thinking about right now, what, what is going through my head at the moment, since you guys should be privy to it, is I need to, oh, that's not going to work, I need to, there we go, go down to, oh excellent, Cyclops Death Module, just what I was looking for, perfect, perfect, uh, yeah, right, uh, I need to go down to one of the deeper, oh, that's not what I wanted to do with that at all, into one of the deeper areas off in like the red kelp zone or whatever it's called the, the that zone drill arm useful useful it's gonna take a while though suck up a bunch of my air doing this 
What's this? Moon pool fragment. Excellent. Excellent. Need what? Two, two more. One more of those. It's a relatively low number. I thought it would take much more for that. So this little wreck, um, where I only got a minute or so of air, need to be attentive to that. So I need a laser cutter, I think, for a lot of this stuff. Hopefully I'm not entombing myself here. No. So yeah, to get into that wreck and any more of a complex or useful way, I need to get the, the laser cutter for. Mm, let's put a beacon out here. I don't know, like, the wrecks are always kind of hit or miss. Like, are they valuable or not? Oh, I don't want to leave. Let's go ahead and scan that up. Sure. Boom. Already got the desk. Already got that. 30 seconds of oxygen. No problem. Yeah, I remember back when she said 30 seconds of oxygen. Remaining. She said, she had said a whole damn sentence about that. That little warning. It would take forever. Just yammering at you. Which was fine. That was fine. Ooh. Okay, there's a big quartz deposit here. It's kind of useful. Is there anything else here? No, just some boxes. Basic stuff. Gotta watch my crush depth. Sure. Ooh, 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 thermal vents, thermal vents. I see ruby. Let's go get that. Let's make that, let's make that ours if we can. Right quick, get some ruby. I only really need like one or two ruby. Really, I was hoping for like magnetite, because if I can start a magnetite collection now, we would be, I would not be remissed. Up we go. Alrighty, beans. Let's get moving. So that's back. What's that? It's just like a weird sand texture. So this area, this area gets a little spooky. It's quiet. Uh, we got ooh, slate. Let's grab that real quick while I'm here. Ah, uh, just had gold in it. Damn it. I need to get slate chunks because they will have diamonds in them. And I do need diamonds early on. What I, I I need a diamond for the laser cutter first, and then I need diamonds for like the prawn arm, like the prawn suit itself. I think needs diamonds, and then the drill arm needs ow 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 diamonds as well. Ow, which is very which is really critical. Also need to get lithium, but that's all a matter of time, right? Sure. Ooh, so this is mushroom forest. No, it's not. I think this is not a safe place to be. <laughs> I think that's the takeaway here. Oh, another slate chunk. That's good. I'm hearing the reef backs, though. Not hearing. Come on. Man. Doing to me. Doing to me. Two gold. There we go. Diamond. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Fucking assholes. Right. Sure. Alright, I think I've got a little off course here. Get up here so I can sit on the surface. I have to get out to do this. Yep, let's get out really quick. Okay. I can stand on the seam off, I think. That's where I need to go. I need to go that way. So I need to kind of turn left. I need to hang a left. Keep going. There we go. We're actually very close. I definitely missed a, uh, a region here on the way over to this. Like there's a kelp zone, red kelp zone in between here and here and Bill. Which is kind of important. Do I need anything off of you guys? I think so. Other than a, than a sweet moon. Sweet little oh, there we go, there it is. Oh. Oh, sing me the songs of your people. Please do. Okay, what do we got going around here? Bunch of garbo. Bunch of garbo. I don't need really. Uh, is there any good resources that you can get from? But man, I don't like the. I don't like the weird side of this island. I feel. Hmm. We'll figure it out. There we go. Let's see if I can get around the lake. There's a cove. There's a little entryway. There it is. Is this it? Is it? No, that just takes us deeper into the island. Not super thrilled about, honestly. Yeah, that doesn't take me anywhere. Who the fuck am I? What is this? 
This I love. This is so cool. Like, the idea that there's these giant creatures called floaters that basically prop these islands up. Oh, another table coral. I'm going to need table coral. So I'm going to go ahead and while we're here... Oh, this is just a shell plate, so that gets me not a fucking thing. Cool. I knew that. I did not hit that button at all. Okay. I don't want to be in there. Just isn't that good. Oh man, this is freaky. I always forget how freaky this is. It's coming to nighttime too. God damn it. That's not okay. That's a bad, that's a bad time. I need to get a bed. I need a bed and carry it with me. With a sleeping bag of some sort. Because exploring this island at night is quite the hassle. How? Where is the way up? What is this shit? Stop fucking with me. It's rude. I'm not happy about this. Damn you, island. What what mistakes have I made to deserve this? Huh? Huh? Stop getting brighter and darker all the time. It's not okay. I need, I need you to be... I need you to be on point, island. You're not being on point for me. Get your, get your shit together. Alright. Well, that was exciting and un completely unfruitful. There it is. There she blows. Okay, I just missed it by, I guess, a fraction of an inch. Coming up here. Alright. So there's lots of fun flora and fauna and other really cool stuff here on this island. I uh, probably won't be scanning most of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a flower garden somewhere at some time. Oh, they're bad. They're bad at what they do. Alright, we need to stay focused here. Gonna be in trouble. We do not. Is there a way to, like, get brighter beams out of you? Eh? Is that a... Is that an option? No. Clearly it's not. So I can probably find a boba tree. There we go. A little boba tree. Boldo tree. Why am I scanning you? Eh. 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 Delicious. Okay. Go ahead and get some food in there. Tree is not... What is the... Hmm. What is the contents of this tree? Eight. Oh, so this is actually pretty even on food and water. Honestly, I wonder if it wouldn't be a better better tree than the lantern fruit tree because i feel like the lantern fruit tree only gives like only gives like three water while the bulbo tree gives like eight food and ten water which is really good since that's even you basically can eat as much as that as you want without having to waste too many resources to get your water full i don't know i like the look of the lantern the lantern fruit like let's just let's just uh, let's let me just face it i like the look of these guys they are very nice. Yeah, so 10 food, 3 H2O. Man, that's a that's a rough choice. We'll have to figure that out eventually. Maybe I'll just take back Boldo. Oh, he's trying to. Trying to make it happen. So here, let's go ahead and get this done. Next to your owl, grow bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What's your, what's your malfunction? Bed. Come here. Making, making you dead. Okay. So now, oh, that's not cool. What is this? That's the stasis rifle, which I might as well grab. They're so bitey. They're so bitey. How bitey they are. Why are they so Ow! Ow! With the biting! With the angry biting! Alright, get the purple tablet. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Cool. Look at these guys. They are... Go away! Go away! Are you dead? I hope you're dead. I hope you've died. Abandoned PDA. Curious discovery. Okay, come here. I'll fucking make this happen. Okay, he's dead. All right, cool. So we got new PDA data. Let's take a little look at that. SEMA equipment. So just close this. Power. Thermal plant. Habitat. Steer grow bed. Moon pool. Equipment. Radiation suit. Stasis rifle. Why is it not? Why? Why does it take so long? Just make that go away. Just allow me to tick that. So I can know what is red and unread and important. The Gossi survivor. So... So does so the the Gossi. The Gossi crew manifest Paul Torgal auxiliary search and rescue mission. Paul Torgal. So what were they doing for rescue? I don't know. Position chief of Torgal Corporation, captain of the Gossi, lost in space near planet forty five forty six B. Age at time of disappearance seventy nine. Paul Torgal's crew fell out of contact with Mongolian authorities close to a decade ago. The Torgals were a resourceful, powerful clan, and the ship was well-equipped, so their survival is considered likely. However, multiple vessels passing through the system have since attempted to trace the ship to no effect. It, ho it is hoped the Aurora's superior scanning... So the Aurora was sent 
to try to find this shit. Mate, so that's that is the so this right. Right, so this is a little weirdly formatted, but fine. So so the Aurora was definitely sent here to find out more information about this planet and the Degasi and why they came here. I don't know what would have made that. So let's see, we got Beneficiary of Life Extension Technologies, uh, accompanied by his only child, uh, Emissary Emissary Kassar reports Torgal often traveled with a skeleton crew. So Kassar was on the Aurora, high profile guy, we'll find him later, and was known for making rash but profitable decisions, inadequate systems maintenance, uh, oh, inadequate systems maintenance or straying from its planned route may account for the ship's disappearance, alright, so, sure, so they were sent here to figure out what WTF was going on, get our multi-purpose room scanned up here, do, 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 do. oh, it reset it, damn it. This is like a unique scan, so the multi-purpose room requires two fragments to be done, but if you scan this, you get the whole thing. So, boom. Multi-purpose room. It's an interesting fact. Spotlight. Okay, sure. Don't know why they had spotlights all over the place. Let's do that. Uh, wall planner. Also very useful. Wall planners is looking. You used to be able to, uh, to plant stuff on them. Maybe you still can, and I don't know. Maybe, I'm, maybe I never found the, the blueprint. I saw something to scan here, for sure. That's uh, oh there it is, bulkhead. Sure, get that done because it adds strength to your uh, buildings. What the hell? What's going on there? Is it red light? Well, that's from. It's interesting. Interesting answer. I wish it was a crouch button. It'd make my life easier. All right, we'll go ahead and get up in here. I know I didn't need to go this way, but I did. So you know, whatevs. Another abandoned PDA. Let's go ahead and get a. So we got this. So this is the curious is object. I don't know. I found it outside. Battery. In the sand. Uh, part of another ship. None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, chief. All right. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's Boop. glowing. We're not the first I'll grow bubble, bubble to come to trees. this planet. People. Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. You're the woman. She knows what's up. She's my favorite. Alright, away we go. A little violent, but my favorite. And here, no. Just go ahead and make our way. I can't do that. I'm gonna try to make my way up top of this hill here. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we're getting kind of close. Check that out. Come on, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. There we go. Okay. So, uh, I got, do I go through this? No, I think you go through that on the way up if you come the right way, which I never do. And we are continuing our path up this hill. What do you got going on here, Hill? Being, being hilly? Being hillacious? Ah! Hillacious hills. Ah! <laughs> Wish I had a parachute. Or like a glide suit, or like a like, it's just something like that, so I could, like, just jump off the top of this and just glide back to, uh, to my Seamoth, or back to, I couldn't make there, but I could try. Or at least, like, over there. Oh, well. Game's about the ocean, not about the glide suits. God. So, God, the vastness of this game. Man. I remember when there was nothing stopping you going to in the dead zone. you just keep going and going and going, it would just be terrifying and lonely. All right, so rotation location. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Oh. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Bum bum bum! Okay. Does it get me... I, I feel like that should have given me, like... Oh well. Storms! Son, I said wait for the 
storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. No snap, I'll son. Stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those groups. Maybe it's because the Altair Corporation is like who it's made up of. I, I have a thought. I know how to Oh, snizzity snap. All right, so uh, what I was saying, so the 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 presence of the the Scottish accent makes might make sense given the uh, maybe the historical background that we're not quite privy to. Ahead of time will help ensure against. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. Clinton, shut up. After all that time in the deep, I've been dreaming of it. And boom. Okay. Beans. I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Who's there? Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Alrighty. So, that gives us the, uh, you know. Okay, that's all this stuff is like queued up that it's dealing with. Any pause? Okay, that's not important. Need another bobo tree. Bulbo. There we go. Maybe just do a quick, quick another sample. Might as well grab two. So now, how are we doing on inventory space? Probably not super good. Storm. Why is this? I said wait for the storm to pass. Why is it? Okay. It's just giving me, giving me crap. Uh, all right. So the next journey is we're gonna go head back to uh, good old Bill. Uh, do what we can to build stuff. I think the next step is arguably a habitat. I need to get that going so I can get food being produced. I can get other, you know, power being produced so I can try to woo, try to uh, get the moon pool done. A lot of things that need to be done between then and now. So, ooh, that's not good. So, let's call it right now. We'll make our way back to the Gossi. Next time when I stream, I should be back in about an hour. If I am not, send up a flare. I shall be waiting for it. And if you are enjoying the stream, hit that, uh, hit those buttons. Hit that follow button. Uh, maybe. That'd be nice. I'd appreciate it. If you're watching the VODs, like, comment, subscribe. And please continue to overcome.